Hello guys, welcome back to another video of me, Silver Stuff 7. And today, my friends, we are back with some more Terraria information. And this is going to be revolving around the 1.4 update. I was actually thinking in my mind the 1.3 update. I don't know why, because I mean it's 1.4. Now I've actually been away from playing Terraria and doing a lot of videos recently. It may not seem like that because obviously I've had videos coming out, but if you noticed my video yesterday, I did actually say in it. Uh, that the update is 15 days away, which we all know is not true. The, ne the next big great update for this game will be coming out on the 16th of this month. And that is literally one day away. As you can see on the screen, we have Terraria Journey's End. And as you can see, it is a um, person, I would say the guide, sitting down, looking into the distance. And he has got the Vortex armor on. Pretty awesome. You've got some slimes around as well. Looking very nice. It's a nice piece of art. Definitely do agree with that. But that is not why we are here. Obviously, we want to know what is going on. So it says, Journey's End is very near Terrarians. This update has been a labor of love, tirelessly worked on by our team over a good, t uh, good while. And we truly feel that it brings Terraria to the next level, to a place where the core game can finally be called complete. Because obviously Journey's End is um, going to be the last update for Terraria. I, I want to be hesitant that this is going to be the last update. But, I mean, if they're saying this is going to be the last update, then maybe it's possible. Um, but anyways, it goes on to say from new ways to play the game to over 1,000 new items to find and craft, new bosses to challenge, and even a full pass review of all content of the game for balance. Literally, that means they've gone through everything. Graphic quality and mechanics, truly. Uh, Journey's End has something for everyone. In the writing of this changelog, it was even more apparent than ever to our team just how much has been packed into this epic final major content update to terrarius we have the journey mode which obviously there's youtubers that have already shown you how that's going to work personally journey mode for me is not how i expected it to be it is going to be an interesting mode to play um am i excited for it probably not but it is still something that will be different so in some ways i'm like excited on one hand for it because it's something new uh, but on the other hand because it's not what i expected uh, i'm actually not too excited but i'll still be playing it but for any of you guys who don't know just a quick heads up i will be live streaming uh on the 16th of may i'll be streaming this update to my channel there's gonna be a load of other people streaming but make sure if you want my stream that you come to me anyways bringing the world to life like never before so there's a lot of things i think these are just like these are literally just yeah these are bullet points these are literally just bullet points uh so what was old is made new again they've got that mythical beast and where to farm them um, that is literally a uh, reference to magical, um, what's that Harry Potter spin-off thing? So we have new ways to play, which uh, this brand new Terraria Journey's uh, mode provides a more accessible Terraria experience by placing the power to create the gameplay you desire in the palm of your hands. We've got research blocks that you dig up. So basically, if you, put, you buy a bunch of blocks or whatever, if you go around, dig up some blocks, if you get, say, 999, you can put them down. Um, and you see how it says here, it says you've got to discover a hundred. So what you do, you take a um, hundred wood, for example, you put it into it uh, and then you mashes it down. And once you've learned that, once you've gathered a hundred, you can research it um, and you'll be able to uh, get unlimited amounts of wood in journey mode. There is the one thing though, a lot of you guys probably think, well, can't I just play my characters in journey mode and then take them back into my normal worlds? No. Journey mode characters are exclusive to journey mode. Journey mode worlds will not be accessible to normal players. So, yeah, it kind of is a balance, but at the same time, it's just like, yeah, I'm not too fan of it, or too much of a fan of it. Uh, it is still basically Terraria Creative, but in a way where you still got to find the items in order to get unlimited stacks. So, yeah, it's like you discover the item, you find so many of them, and then once you found the complete set, you get to research it, which then gives you unlimited supplies of it. Pretty awesome in some sense, but like in others, it's not what I, I expected. Um, you've obviously got the slider here, which shows you can have drizzle, you can have 
um, literally a different time of the day where it goes to a point where it's like really pitch dark in the uh, and outside um, from the rain and stuff like that. We have downfalls. Pretty cool how they've added different weather types. I think it's pretty nice. Uh, also, we have the ability to change the time and so many other things. Uh, I think you can even spawn the different mobs now, which is something interesting that you can do. There's a lot of things that you can do now in the game that you weren't able to do before. And it's just like this golf in here. This is pretty cool. Like you're able to actually uh, get a golf stick, hit the golf ball, and then try to get it into the, the little puck down there. I'm not even sure what you would call it. I, th I guess it's the hole. Yeah, you get into the hole. Uh, I don't know if that's a mode. I don't think that is a mode. I think that literally is just an item you can make your own. Um... There should be some, hopefully there's a little scoreboard on the side that says like path three and things like that. So you can actually set up your own golf courses. That'd be very nice to play. Uh, bringing the world to life like never before. So we have atmospheric um, effects. So Journey Ends adds new weather effects to really uh, bring the environment to life. From windy days to thunderstorms to flora and fauna. Uh, your world will uh, feel more act uh, alive than ever before. Weather will also impact gameplay so make sure you adjust for the wind honestly it's going to be so interesting to see what this is like i love the idea of the leaves uh being able to just you know like come off the trees and moving um everything just seems like a lot more alive it is true it does it does seem more alive and then obviously we've got the kites as well this is one of the earliest spoilers for 1.4 remember this has been two years in the making and we have finally got it uh we also have the next level player immersion so you can now actually sit down you can lay down on the bed which i think is something that's always been um you know like a requested feature or something that we've always wanted to do and now we can actually finally do it uh, we've also got the ability to pet our pets which is always a nice thing as well uh, so you can actually pet your mounts i don't know if it's exclusive to these two different mounts but hopefully uh, you can actually do this with the lizards and all of the other ones that you can get like your bunny rabbits and stuff like that uh, also, we do have um, the emotes in the game now. So, as you can see, that guy uh, there literally says, right, I'm going to gun it down this man-eater. And that's what he does. He literally guns him down. So, then we've got some massive differences to World Gen Evolution. We've got some new biomes that are being introduced. I'm not sure which biome this is. I think this was called the Oasis. Yep, yeah, we've got the Oasis biome which i think looks very very nice we've got the dragonflies which i was trying to remember what they were called in a previous state of the game uh, i'm not sure if i cut it out but literally those dragonflies look so beautiful um we've got so many different uh things that are coming to this update i am just blown away with how much there is so we have a dozen new biome backgrounds so as you can see there is a bunch of new backgrounds and it's quite nice like it's, it's obviously i'm gonna say it's quite nice cause just look how good that is it's so beautiful and i just want it i just ah oh, look at that that is so cool uh now if we go down we have a graveyard biome so i'm not sure if this is a random generated structure but if it is that's a that's an interesting one i'm not sure what that's gonna do but that's definitely interesting. There's that item in the middle that keeps bobbing up and down. So I don't know if you're going to be able to interact with that or something. Maybe that's how you get a boss. I'm not sure. Maybe that's how you get a boss. I, I, that looks pretty cool. I like that. Uh, Journey's End full change log. So I don't know why I'm going to press on that. Uh, then we also have the block placement and the block changing. So this was a um, quality of life change uh which is where in order to do this a lot of us were very confused so as you can see literally all you have to do uh is press on the block with a, a different block to the one you want to replace it with so literally you grab um say you've got a house made out of stone you grab wood and you want to put wood on there uh rather than having to break them all down and then put down the uh the wood back down again um or whatever uh what you can do uh is you can actually uh, just replace whatever stone you have and, and replace it with whatever it doesn't actually have to be stone It could be any item any like block and literally you can just replace the block it's sitting on I love how you can do that with chests as well. I don't know if I'm rambling I'm sorry if I'm rambling a little bit It's just one of those like little things that I'm really excited to see because how many of you guys think about it Have sat there in your world had to replace the block underneath your chest and literally sat there like I can't do it because there's items inside the chest. It's just so nice. Uh, I, I am hoping there's items in that chest. Because if there's not items in that chest. And you can't change the block underneath the freaking chest. I am literally going to cry. Hopefully you can actually change that. Um, so yeah. The way that does work. And as I was saying. A lot of people were really worried about this. 
Um, what it does is you can't actually just go up to any old ore and try and replace the block. You do have to have the pickaxe that meets the requirement to mine the block that you are trying to switch out. So for example, uh, if you want to change out demonite, then you all have to have a demonite pickaxe and above uh, in order to actually switch that out uh, in your sitting in your inventory. Because you couldn't just do this without one of those in your inventory. Uh, one of my other favorite features about this as well is if you have already hit the block with the hammer, uh, the nice part about it is it actually does keep... Uh, any of the uh, the adjustments that you may have done to it like the roof stays pointy which I think is very nice and I think it just it's, it honestly is a quality of life change anyway so the next thing we have is the void vault this is extra storage extra places to keep all of your goodies and as you can see literally you um, get to put it in one place um, I think you no, actually sorry right so the way this works is anything that you pick up it goes into the void bag and you can access the void um, from the void bag and then that will literally be where any of the items that get dropped go So the best way I can explain this is if say you've got a void bag in your inventory and you're mining down to the how And you've mined so much stone and I know a lot of you guys have done this You've got so much stone your inventory is absolutely full to the brim and you have nowhere else for it to go So you get halfway down and you've got all these blocks just waiting for you to pick them up, yeah? Well, if you have this void bag, it is going to go into that void bag. And it's going to basically go into that spare inventory slot, which is definitely going to be very useful. Uh, this is going to be good as well for when you are farming different mobs as well. Because obviously, more storage is always nice, even for giveaway characters. <laughs> hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Um, but new world and character creation. So obviously... Uh, we've been used to the whole uh, clickly click 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 thing so if you click on a style and then you go like because it starts with style one all the way up to like style 90 and if you want to go up back down to style one you have to literally click all the way through until you get back to style one uh, well that's no, no longer a thing anymore so uh, as you can see you have a proper menu which is going to make things much easier this actually kind of reminds me of what console had a long time ago um, and uh, it's a shame that console did remove their system for how they did their characters because I feel like it was bad like how many of you guys would agree with me that legacy console got character creation correct because i feel like it had the character creation right down to t like it wasn't pixelated when you were creating your character so you were able to sort of see it better not sort of see it better you were just able to see it better and it was just so much easier to create a nice looking character and i just loved the old menus the old menus were so good on console i'm speaking of um but yeah Anyways, next thing we have, obviously, is the new uh, menu loadout for when you uh, actually load up a new world. So you can uh, choose a random name, uh, which is nice. Also, we have uh, got the um, the introduction of the master menu or the master uh, tab, sorry, uh, into the menu. We've got the journey mode icon there as well. Um, obviously, those are going to be what you press to get into those game modes. But yeah, there's not really too much more to it. Uh, the achievement guide system. So there is actually going to be some sort of like guide in the corner if I looks of it, uh, which is actually going to tell you uh, one of the achievements that you're going to aim for or you're close to getting, which is always nice. And then you can progress and try and unlock all the achievements. Also, we have the um, addition of changing or being able to customize the way that your hearts look in the corner. Uh, also known as the HUD of your hearts. I don't know the HUD of your hearts. <laughs> that sounds like a new thing. Um, but yeah, your HUD, your mana. I really do like that. I think that's a nice little change. It's definitely quality of life. Uh, you've got better boss bars by the looks of it for... Um, for some of the different bosses which is nice uh, we've got more going on down here new mini map borders as you can see right there we've got a bunch of different borders definitely another piece of quality of life we have the obviously i have mentioned this before in my state of game a lot of this i've already covered before um the razor chroma support is a definite um amazing thing i personally like i've mentioned before wouldn't go out of my way to get a razor chroma keyboard but that is definitely a pretty cool feature with terraria what was old is made new again so this is something that i am extremely excited about i actually shared this into my community section now these are based on bosses these are bosses that have been um rebalanced and things that have changed um there's also different things that have been changed as well like now you can't take out the uh 
the, the king slime from just going up on top of a piece of rope and then shooting down at him like ping 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 you actually have to uh stay in the ground and try and fight him or build something because he is learnt to actually go up um a rope so another thing uh, is the moon lord now can no longer be farmed afk which i think is definitely awesome um it's gonna make people have to find new strategies and it might encourage more people to play together because this is gonna make him very hard you can't just hide behind the blocks uh, the next thing we have is the weapon and armor changes so some of the new animations as you can see the short sword now actually aims before it just used to go like this now it goes like this and i know how i look so i look absolutely crazy uh, and yeah there's just a bunch of new different items as well that have different um animations like the um, I can't remember what they're called. Basically, most of the melee weapons have got new animations, which is nice. Um, I don't really use them. That's why I literally can't remember the names. Uh, we've got a new piece of animation there. Um, and then, obviously, there's been some buffs and some nerfs done to the Medusa head. I personally don't use the Medusa head, so I don't know why it's been buffed or nerfed or whatever. I think it was nerfed last time I read it. I'm not going to read it again because I've read all this stuff before. You're probably thinking, well, you could do with reading it again then if you're not sure. So, Hallowed Armor has been um, balanced, like, or rechanged. So, I can't remember what it does. If you watch this animation, it does actually do something. Like, there's... Um, you get immunity at least 30 seconds must pass before you can reactivate the immunity buff so you get immunity and then it, it goes away for 30 seconds um titanium armor has been rebalanced or like has a new set bonus which is very nice it creates these crystal shards that do damage to the enemy i think that was something that's definitely awesome uh the stardust armor now is actually made to be a lot more powerful uh which is cool i think that definitely needed to be done but this was the one i shared on my community section and that was the graphic overhaul just look at the difference in these graphics you can see what they have done so this is the new one that is the old one oh my goodness look at these chests as well when they change and then look at these enemies and just look at these hands on the christmas trees they just look so much more detailed everything looks very detailed and i just love it it's little quality changes like this that really make uh bosses stand out and look at the harpies as well like the harpies are proper changed uh vampire knives have changed as well the sdmg's got a little bit darker which is nice and a bit more shape to it you've got the goblin scouts there that have changed a lot more very nice and literally this video is going on forever i do want to say i'm sorry for anybody that is literally sitting there thinking damn dude you speak a lot um, so as you can see, literally there is a load of different um, new biome pictures. So we've got that one that's before, that is after. Some of the backgrounds I don't agree with being replaced because some of them are already very good. Um, but obviously it's each to their own. Uh, we now have the Beast 3, which is the introduction of things that we have um, discovered, which I think is very nice. I think that's something that will make you just work towards it, you know. I, th I think it will be something to work towards even. Um, we have some new uh, summoner weapons. There we go. We have whips. New summoner weapon class. We have the whips, which is awesome. Uh, we have the star cannon version 2. Uh, we have the celebration mark 2. The scarab bombs, as I've spoke about before. The new cart, mine cart, which I absolutely love. Uh, we have the lava shark, which is nice. And there's loads of new aesthetic items, furniture, paintings, and more. And it's just so much coming out in this update, dudes. I am so excited. And you've got the introduction of the different trees. We've got ruby, emerald, all that sort of stuff. New ladybugs have been introduced. You've got a pink slime with a with a balloon around it. There's something going on over here. Uh, this is the new boss that's been introduced. Two new mini bosses with a score to settle, including the terrifying uh, Dread Nukultilis. I'm, I'm not even sure how to spell that uh, or read that even, uh, but look at that guy. He's absolutely insane. He literally looks like one of those things you find on the uh, on the beach, you know, one of those shells with the ugly octopus things inside of it uh, or snail things. Ugh. Um, yeah, we've also got Fairies, which is cool. I like fairies. Fairies are awesome. So I think uh, they needed to add their fairies, definitely. So we also had the Terraria uh, pylons and the town buildings. So obviously we're going to have uh, the the update for the NPCs. Make them happier. Once you make them happy, they will give you pylons. Pylons you can travel to and all that good stuff. But yeah, anyways, that is basically 
uh, a gist about it because I don't want this video to get too long. This video is going to get so long. Uh, we have Vampire Frogs, which is a new mob. We have the Wishing... Oh, yeah. Actually, I'm not sure what this was. A lot of people speculated. So, Chum Bucket. Toss some in the water and see what you can fish up. So, you put something inside it and then you see what fish up. I'm not really sure what's happening there. Um... I'm still not sure about that one. If you guys can tell me what's going on this one, that would be most appreciated. Uh, we've got this guy. This is the Bloodthirsty Goblin Shark. That was a cool introduction. I'm not even sure if that's a boss or if that's just a mob. And for some reason, he's not even at the beach area. So the fact that he's spawning in the middle of the land makes me quite worried. If he's a boss, then that's that's quite interesting. Uh, but if he's just a random spawning dude, oh... I'm even scared. Uh, lava's, lava fishing. Right. Cool. I think that was always a thing though. Lava fishing. That's the hotline fishing rod. Of course, you needed that in order to fish in the lava. Uh, it seems like there's a bit more in the lava anyway, which is cool. Uh, we've got the crates and the reaver shark. So there's something going on there. There's loads of stuff. I will leave a link for you guys to go check this out in the description because there is so much more than what I can show in this video. But this epic tunes to set the mood. We've got 14 new music tracks, which are all in the form of music boxes. Uh, a whole new tutorial toolbox. There is just so much new stuff. We have texture packs. Yeah, I'm going to be interested to see what you guys... Um, recommend to me to play with with uh, texture packs that is going to make the game so much more interesting as well uh, with the fact that people can now introduce their own textures so yeah that's just about tmod loader and now we have finally got to the section where it's all about the community i can't believe it's taken me 24 minutes to edit this or not to edit it now it's not going to take a little bit longer than that but no it's taking me 24 minutes to literally get through this thing uh which is pretty insane so yeah anyways guys thank you so much for watching this did you enjoy this video uh let me down in the comments down below you know let me know down in the comments down below anyways guys thank you so much for watching you've been absolutely awesome don't forget guys i will be streaming 1.4 when it comes out on may 16th which is literally in a single day so make sure to keep your eyes out for that stream anyways guys i've been super Special 7 you've been absolutely awesome i'll see you all in my next video good boy